Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool wooden wall crank telephone and this is Fred's equipment from California and this is the initial checkout of this really cool telephone. Now we also want to mention that Fred kept the shelf to this telephone at his location. There was no need to ship it. He also removed the transmitter from the front panel. Now we want to go ahead and run through a little bit about what needs to be done. We want to troubleshoot the magneto. We want to make sure that that's in working condition. We want to troubleshoot the receiver capsule. It does have the original style diaphragm receiver. We also want to troubleshoot the receiver cloth cord. We want to troubleshoot the solenoids for the bells. We also want to adjust the bells. And we want to troubleshoot the bell circuit. We will be installing an electronic amplified transmitter that we design and build here at the shop so that this telephone will have plenty of transmit power. We want to utilize as much of the original wiring to this telephone that we can in the conversion and we will be adding wiring. So we want to wire this unit the way we want it wired to work the way we want it to work. We're going to go through the hook switch. We want to install a modular port so that Fred can walk up to this unit with any length line cord, any color that he chooses plug right into the modular port makes for a simple easy plug and play connection. We also want to install another circuit that we design and build here at the shop that allows you to walk up to this telephone, crank the magneto, ring the original bells but not backfeed any voltage into the telephone line and yet when you get a call the original bells will ring. So we'll take care of that issue. We also want to install a keypad in the battery box area and Fred has already installed a magnet situation to keep the door closed. So we will be troubleshooting the entire telephone while it's in the shop. We have a lot of work that needs to be done. We want to get a start on this conversion. We'll go ahead and take some still pictures of this really cool telephone and we'll come back and get some more video as we move forward in the troubleshooting repairing and converting process. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back now, and what we want to do is check out our magneto. So we want to crank the magneto and ring the original bells. So we'll go ahead and start that. Now what we can do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. I'll let it go one more time and we'll stop the ring cycle. We'll go ahead and take a short break and we'll come back and start our final checkout. Okay, we're back now and we're ready to start our final checkout. Now I also want to mention that we have an amplifier connected to the line so that we can hear the audio from the receiver. And I have an amplifier back by the video. It has a button on it. When I press the button, I can give dial tone or take it away at any time. And since it's an open amplifier, it is prone to any static interference or noise in the atmosphere. So if you hear any noise during the final checkout, it will be coming from the amplifier and not the telephone. Now what we can do is use the analyzer and send a ring cycle like you were getting a call. So we'll start that. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time and we'll give you some dial tone. We can turn off the amplifier and we want to go ahead and hit the hook switch that will cause dial tone to go away if you notice a one showed up on the analyzer and we want to check our transmit every time you see that red light on the analyzer that's an indication of hundred percent modulation on transmit one two three four five six one two three four five six hello hello and I'm pretty far back away from this telephone and the amplified transmitters that we design and build here at the shop are very sensitive so you will have plenty of transmit power we'll go ahead and hang up our receiver now what we want to do is open the door and make a telephone call with our keypad and we'll call a time and temp number so we'll be right back okay we're back now and we're ready to finish up our final checkout. Now we want to go ahead and press the button on the switch box. That will give us a line out, totally take the analyzer out of the situation, and we can call our time and temp number. Now we're just going to use the line cord for the hook switch because we have our receiver capsule right here. And we want to go ahead and push our line cord in and give you some dial tone. And we'll go ahead and make our call. The time and temperature is coming up after this. To hear the time and temperature, just stay on the line. Today is Monday, May 13th. The current time, 9.05 p.m. And the temperature, 63 degrees. We can go ahead and unplug our line. We'll call one other number. We'll call my number and it'll be busy. Give you some dial tone. Plug our line in again. And we'll make that call. Go 
ahead and turn our amplifier off and unplug our line. Now that we know that this really cool Kellogg wooden wall crank telephone has been repaired and converted, we can return it to Fred and he can enjoy this telephone. I'm sure it's going to look great wherever it's installed. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.